Hi, my name is Kevin Heaton. I work for Utah State University Extension as a County Agriculture and Natural Resource Agent in Kane and Garfield Counties. Today I'm going to talk about planting uh, conservation trees. And you all probably have received a tree similar to this. It's a bare root tree most likely and it's really important to keep the roots moist. You don't have to soak them in water for extended periods but you do need to keep them moist and damp so put them in mulch or wet sawdust or something like that and keep them uh, damp until you're ready to plant them. It's also very important that you plant them as soon as you get them. We're, we've been very dry this year and it's been very mild temperatures and as we go into the, the spring we want the, the tree roots to get established so that they can maintain themselves through the hot summer months. The first thing when you're planting a tree is select the site location of where you want to make sure there's no overhead power lines or it's not going to cause problems in any other way. Maybe where the roots are going to go into your foundation or your septic tank or something like that. The other thing is when you dig the hole, it's very important that as, when you dig the hole that you dig it two to three times as wide as you do deep. Okay two to three times wide as as you go deep and, and you can see this hole here I've dug and you can see this these roots aren't very wide and, and sometimes these roots are probably not not great roots but they may be some of what you see when you get your conservation trees anyway we want to identify the uh, root collar and that's a, a point on the tree where it was grown and that the soil level is. So you want to make sure that you don't plant too deep below that or too shallow uh, above that. So we picked our site location. We want to put the tree in. We want to backfill. Okay, and make sure that we tamp the soil in around the roots as we go. Another important thing to remember is you don't need to add soil amendments like peat moss and compost. This native canab soil um, is actually fairly nutritious and will grow these plants just fine. So we also need to, to remember not to add any fertilizer. Um, fertilizer, we kill more trees when we plant than we actually keep. So as we backfill, we want to make sure the soil is, is uh, tamped in very well. And I'm trying to do hurry for the video purposes. Maybe not. Again, we want to be right at that soil level. We want to have kind of a, a little basin that uh, We'll kind of hold the water in. And then after, after we plant the tree, we want to put at least five gallons of water on it immediately. And then probably another five gallons on in a couple hours, okay? We want to just really saturate the soil and give the tree every opportunity to grow its root hairs and, and develop. The other thing as we care, move forward probably at least five gallons a week, not five gallons a day for throughout the summer, but five gallons a week starting out, get the tree established and then monitor and, and make sure that it's not getting too dry or too hot. And I believe that is it for tree planting trips from Utah State University Extension. Good luck with your tree planting and hope you have success.